The following program is brought to you by Caltech. Hey, Carson and Harrison here at Turtle Pond near Millican Library, and we're here to talk to you a little bit more about Caltech academics. As I'm sure you know, Caltech has some stellar academics. But the best part about our academics is that they really do train us to be scientists, mathematicians, and engineers. One of the great things about our classes are that 100% of them are taught by faculty members. The professors here are fantastic. We've got Nobel laureates, MacArthur Genius Grant winners, you name it, we got it. And that's really great to be able to take classes from these professors. In fact, our freshman year, we took physics from David Politzer, a Nobel laureate in physics. So taking physics from a Nobel laureate in physics is kind of a pretty pretty cool thing not many people get to do. Professor Politzer is awesome. He's always wearing a Hawaiian shirt. But the best part about him is that he's really passionate about his students. I met with him so many times when I was struggling through electricity and magnetism. But that just goes to show how small our student-faculty ratio really is, that a professor can sit down and meet with you. And all the faculty members are like that. They really don't see us as students, they really see us as scientists, and that's what the Honor Code is all about. The Caltech Honor Code states that no member of the Caltech community shall take unfair advantage of any other member. And that goes from frosh in their first year here all the way up to our most esteemed faculty. It binds everyone together. My favorite part about the Honor Code, though, is that we have take-home exams. You take it when you want, where you want, it's however you work best and whenever you're going to problem solve best. So I'm currently actually taking an exam. Don't you have a meeting to get to? I have a meeting to get to. I will talk to you later. Cool. All right, great. great. See you later. Another great thing about academics here is pass-fail. Your first two terms here as a frosh are on pass-fail. I miss it so much as a junior. Basically, the transition into college is hard no matter where you go. But coming to Caltech, it's going to be a lot harder. You're probably going from an environment where you worked a lot by yourself and didn't have to study much to an environment where you have to work all the time and you have to work with tons of other people. Now this transition can be kind of hard, so it's good to have those first two terms, 20 whole weeks, to kind of get used to it, learn how to study, learn how to manage your time, get to know yourself, get to know what you can handle. By the time third term rolls around, you're a pro, you're ready to tackle it, and you're ready for grades. Let's go up to Millican Library and talk about CORE. As a frosh, pretty much all of your classes are going to be taken right here around Millican Library. We take all our humanities in that building over there. We take chemistry in this building over here. Biology further back behind those trees. Physics is in this building right here. And math is right here. Now the core curriculum is a basic set of classes that all students have to take no matter what your major is before you graduate Caltech. The idea is to give all of our students a very broad and in-depth coverage of many fields of science. This way, if they go on to be a physicist, mechanical engineer, whatever, they know a lot about different fields of science. And that helps a lot when you go on into academia or industry to know more than just what your major is. We don't ask students to declare majors coming into Caltech. We figure you don't know enough about the fields anyway. And that's what's great about the core. It gives you plenty of time to figure out what you like, figure out what interests you, figure out what math, physics, biology really are. And then at the end of your frosh year, you can declare. If you still don't know at the end of your frosh year, you're still unsure, that's totally fine too. Plenty of my friends have switched majors like halfway through their sophomore year. So it's totally doable. The core really does help you prepare for your option specific classes. Once you get into your sophomore, junior, senior year, start taking those upper level classes, you really build on what you learned in the core. And once you take all of those classes and you graduate Caltech, you'll have all the tools necessary to be a very effective scientist or engineer. I know that I'm comfortable that when I graduate, I'm gonna have all the tools necessary to be a fantastic mechanical engineer and hopefully make a huge impact.